Welcome back to the show, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We have an exciting show for you today. And it's a special day because this, of course, is recorded not the day of the podcast, but a little bit earlier. So today is actually Halloween. So happy belated Halloween. (laughs) I'm excited today. Ashley is her little cute little ones are dressing up for Halloween. So I'm going to go. Auntie Lindsay is headed over there in a little bit to we have our traditional pizza and trick-or-treating. What are the kids going as tonight, Ashley? Okay, so I'm super excited. So my little girl is going as a fashion model. She picked out all of her outfits herself um, at a thrift store. She found this is so cute, y'all. She found this like 1980s pink dress that she thought was so pretty and I'm like oh my god people gonna think she's the bar like Barbie because Barbie's so hot right now yeah yeah so she picked out all of the like hat she's got you know some sort of like glammed up purse I mean she found all of this stuff and it was less than ten dollars I was watching this morning just you know on Instagram and stuff and also I turned into like Regis and Kelly and that I'm still calling out Regis Kelly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kelly and Ryan, like the live. Regis and Kathy Lee. <laughs> yeah. I'm dating myself there. And they, you know, they do multiple costumes. Of course, they did, you know, Barbie and Ken because the new movie's coming out next. I don't know if it's this year or next year. And then Instagram has so many Barbie costumes. Did you? I just saw them everywhere. Really? I haven't looked yet. Oh, yeah. Western Barbie, just the 80s, like active Barbie. Yeah. Oh, I need to look it up. Is there a new Barbie movie that is it animated or is it live action? No, no, no. It is with Ryan Gosling. And I'm, oh my gosh, I love the girl and I'm totally escaping her name. I'm going to have to look it up, but it's coming out soon. That sounds so fun. July 21st, 2023. Huh. Must be a big deal if everybody's dressed up as Barbie. I had no clue. Margot Robbie. That's the girl. I love her. She's so perfect for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then um, my son is going to be a taco, which is. I think is super, super cute and fun. So I'm excited and I'm going to be nothing. (laughs) You're not going to do anything? Lame. No, it's because I have no time. I've got to, it takes all of my effort to get the kids dressed and ready and eat and fed and out the door that kudos to people that dress up. I just don't have time. So I'm like, whatever. You want me to bring, I literally have like a pink lady jacket. You could put that over something like a black top and black pants. I'm good. Okay. You officially using this lens as an excuse. I know you have a witch hat. That's a hat you put on, and I am bringing you. I could easily bring you a jacket to put on. It's gonna be it's gonna be chilly tonight, so no thanks. Do you know what I'm going as? Oh, well, I wanted to surprise you, but because I'm on the podcast, I've got to let everybody know. I got it's very very simple, but I ordered for my husband Jeff and I. I'm doing Bride of Frankenstein. It's a felt mask. Shut up! Oh my god, I love that. Yeah. And it's very cute. And I'm actually, you're supposed to wear white, but I'm just going to wear black. And then he's, you know, the monster, you know, you want to say Frankenstein, but it's Frankenstein's monster. And so he's got the hat, I'm mean, not the hat, the mask, but it's felt. So it's like super soft and put some red lips. Oh, wow. I can't wait to see. That's so creative. Yeah. Head to my Instagram, Lindsay or Holder. Maybe it'll be on there. Ooh, fun. It depends how cute I can get my picture tonight. We'll see. Oh, I'm excited. (laughs) But the other thing, yes, I hope everybody had a happy Halloween. We were worried because the weather looked like it was not going to cooperate. We're going to just have a sad little Halloween. But at the last minute, the sky has cooperated with us, and it looks like it's a go. So I'm super excited. And then after Halloween, November 1st starts, so we're going to talk about some Christmas stuff. (laughs) (laughs) But the pumpkin's out. Bring out the reindeer. I know. There's no Thanksgiving moment anymore. See you, turkeys. (laughs) No, I actually do. I really do Thanksgiving. I don't decorate my house. The only thing we do is we get our tree one week earlier, but everything else is because I host Thanksgiving. It is very Thanksgiving themed. And then Right after dinner, I like get my boxes down. (laughs) As soon as everybody leaves, I'm like, here we go. I'm so ready. I know because you only have a month. You only have a month and it takes me so long to decorate because I really go all out in my house. It really takes that long. I know. I love it. I love it. It really is beautiful. I have three trees now. Can you believe that? I have a dining room tree, a living room tree, and then a four-year tree. It's crazy. 
Oh, so beautiful. We have already got our Christmas beauty gift guides together. So we're going to have those on it's a two-part series. So we start those next week. So please tune in. We have got some really cool, unique items on this gift guide that you probably haven't thought about. So you're going to want to tune into that. What has an esthetician picked out for your gift guides? Hmm. Let's see. I'm doing beauty tools also. Those get overlooked sometimes. So we're not just going to do just like, you know, the best gloss. Like we're going to, I'm going to get you some good stuff. Right. Yeah. And it makes such great gifts too, not just for yourself, but for your mother-in-law, your mother or your sister or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. This episode's fun. We wanted to take you inside our skincare membership. And first of all, what we're going to do is some of the members have asked us specific skincare questions. It's really cool because inside the membership, you get to ask questions and I'm going to answer those today. And then we're going to kind of just tell you some things that we have added to the membership, what's inside, how to get inside. We just wanted to take you behind the scenes. So if you haven't joined a membership right now, it's free. There is going to be a paid version in the near future. So go ahead, get in while you can at lindsayholder.com. It is so easy. You just hit the join button and then it takes probably 10, 15 seconds because you put first name and last name if you want to and your email and you just select a password and like you're in and then that's it. And then you can go into the back end of La Pretty Beauty and you can get all of our free skincare information, which we will go over in a minute. We also have an app. So the platform that we use to host the membership is called Circle. So if you download the Circle app, you can easily... Circle Communities, because there's another Circle app. Oh, there are two? Yeah, there's actually two. Okay, Circle Communities. But you know what? There's a video on how to do that as well on our site. So you can just head to lindsayholder.com and it'll show you how to do that. So because I'm going to make a video because I just said that and it'll be up. <laughs> <laughs> but there is a sneak peek behind the scenes at lindsayholder.com so you can kind of visually see it as well. And then I'll do a video for you guys on how to download the app because it's so, because I'm an app person. I go straight to my app and I just easily see everything. Ashley, you're more of a desktop person. I am. I'm a desktop person, but I can understand because, you know, I don't do Instagram on my desktop. I use Instagram on my phone. And so it's like, so now with LaPree, you know, being in the Circle app, I'm starting to do that on the phone because it's just easier. Well, it's nice because we have both desktop people and phone people, both we have, we're accommodating both of those worlds. So you can choose which works for you. So we have a few questions that we picked that we thought you may like. So we're going to dive in and just kind of see, let you know how we answer those questions. Okay, so the first question is, it says, I'm 52 and seeing typical fine lines and slight hyperpigmentation in a few places. I've never ventured into the world of serums. Where should I start? I've heard you talk about vitamin C, peptides, retinol, and hyaluronic acid. I'm a consistent person to cleanse, tone, and moisturize, but that's it. I love this question. Thank you for asking this question. I hope this helps other people out there. I know it can be really confusing on where to start, what to invest in, how to begin. All of these serums that you talked about are excellent. And I do recommend to have all of these in your routine, but I'm going to guide you on how, like where to start and how to build. So the, the first two serums that I would start with are the vitamin C and then add a retinol. Now retinol can be, they come in many forms. There's a serum, they also mainly come in like more of a thicker, like lotion or even some with moisturizers. So just know that. But the vitamin C serum has antioxidant properties. So it's protecting you against pollution, other free radicals, reduces hyperpigmentation. It brightens up your skin. Like your complexion is just so much more brighter when you use a vitamin C, it reduces wrinkles and evens your skin tone. My favorite thing that a vitamin C does, I absolutely love it. It helps your sunscreen work more effective. So you definitely are going to want to add this in the morning to make, and then you would apply your sunscreen after. And a rule of thumb, when you are applying your serums, I like to say things over and over, you're going to apply 
your skincare from the thinnest to thickest. So a vitamin C is a pretty thin serum. So you're going to want to apply that first. There's two that I really like. We have a vitamin C podcast, but I'll just go ahead and tell you the ones that I love. I'm currently using the SkinCeuticals one. I love that one. And then I use Obagi. I kind of flip between both of those. Obagi has different percentages, 10, 15, 20%. I'm at 20%. Ashley was at 15% and we dropped her down to 10 because her skin is sensitive. So vitamin C, you do have to kind of watch that because if you have sensitive skin, I'm going to advise to have a lower percentage in your vitamin C. So start slowly with that. The next serum I would incorporate is a retinol or serum slash product because again, they come in different forms. Ashley and I did a two-part series episode in the podcast where we break down everything you need to know about retinols really to make the best decision for you as there are quite a lot of them. Those episodes are 75 and 76. So go back and listen to those. And there's also a vitamin C podcast episode. I do not, that's around that. I don't know which number it is, but it is in there. It's a, it's around that because we've done a whole skincare series on all the main ingredients. So go look at that. Now with your retinols, just a little advice, go slowly when you're adding this into your routine and add it to your night routine. Your skin repairs itself at night. You're sleeping, you're rejuvenating yourself. Like everything is, that's when everything is repairing itself is at night. You're also not out about in pollution and throughout your day. And you're also not in the sun and retinol is very sensitive in the sun. So you want to just have that on at night and sleep on it. Start with once a week, see how your skin does. Then it's okay to do twice and build slowly also depends on what other exfoliations you're adding or peels or stuff like that. So be very careful. It's another reason to build slowly so you can incorporate your other skincare routines. A good size amount to start is, or what I use is just a, use the size of a pea for your face and then also use that same amount for your neck area. You do not need a lot. I'll see a lot of ladies just like squeeze that tube to death. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa. First of all, you're wasting product and that stuff's expensive. So you it can really last you a long time. So pea size is just so just kind of dot around the areas and rub it in. I have a video in our membership that shows you exactly how to apply your retinol and it's called retinol. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't make you have, you don't have to search for it too much. We do actually have a really cool feature in our skincare membership. It's the search button, whatever topic that you want to use, you can just put that in there and you just type in retinol and that video will pop up. So that's kind of neat. In skin school, it'll pop up too. So Ashley's in charge of skin school. So she has all this great material on retinols. You can easily read about that as well. If you are super sensitive to retinol, there's two things you can do. First, you can have a nice little retinol sandwich, add a moisturizer prior to your retinol, and that's going to tone down your retinol. It's going to just help your skin. And so that will make a big difference. You can also do an alternative ingredient like bakuchiol. Bakuchiol. I can never pronounce that. <laughs> I think everybody, some people say it bakuchiol. Some people say it like you do bakuchiol. Like it's just, it's, you know. All right, so I'll do, bak do bakuchiol. That one is great to use if, you know, if you do have a sensitivity to retinol. In our spa shop at lindsayholder.com, just head to the shop portion and we have a list for those and you can find your retinols or your bucket chill. And the bucket chill is also really good if you are pregnant or if you are a nursing mom that is an, or if you're just, you know, wanting a more natural approach. So it's an alternate, that's a, another reason why if you don't want to use retinol, you might want to use bucket chill. So nice that there is a option and you have, you don't have to feel like you can't get the same, you know, results. So it's nice there is their backup option. Once you have your vitamin C down and your retinol, then I would say, then add your hyaluronic acid in the AM. What that's going to do is going to plump, hydrate your skin. We actually go really into depth in that into episode 81. 
I love hyaluronic acid in the morning. Whoa, just like you want to wake your skin up, make it look like, woo, where have you been? What have you just done? You just put hyaluronic acid on your face. (laughs) And I give you some tips in that episode. So go back and listen to you on the best way to add it into your skincare routine. And there is an ingredient that you need to put on your skin prior to hyaluronic acid to A, make it work more effectively and B, make sure you don't do the reverse and not plump up. So make sure to listen to that episode. Lastly, then you're going to add your peptides. And we go into great detail with peptides in episode 78. So please listen to that. Peptides are amazing. I love, 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 love. There is this new product that I have been using called One Skin. And it is absolutely amazing. I am now, gosh, I'm on my third month now. I was in my second, so now my third. Oh, wow. Are you really? That's amazing. Can you tell a difference? I, not only can I tell a difference. So when my clients come in, the when they check in, they're like, you look great. What are you doing? And there's the, <laughs> like, I see it as well. But also they, they tell me, you know, they say, wow, you look great. We have a, I loved it so much. We reached out to the company and I asked them for a discount so you can get 15% off your order of your first order. So there is our discount. You're going to use holder 15 and you do need to click on the link. So we'll put the actual link inside the show notes and it's also always in our spa shop, but we have a special link that you have to click on in order to get the code, but it's holder 15, H-O-L-D-E-R 15 for that. They say for that, and I talked about that in our peptides episode, that you should minimum keep up with it for five months before you really see a difference. But I'm telling you now, actually my skin, like everything looks so clear. My wrinkles are less like my fine lines. Like this is a game changer. I mean, it really is. It's a game changer. That's awesome. I'm still on my first bottle. So I haven't seen any results yet. I mean, you're like on week one, I think, aren't you? No, no, I'm on week two. Week two. Okay. Yeah. You got to, you know, keep it up. Yes. I'm so early. So that's what I'm excited to hear. But you're also a little impatient with skincare and you're like, oh, I'm on my tail. There's nothing happening. (laughs) But you know, oh, I am. Oh, I'm, I'm the worst. But that's important because a lot of people are like that. So it's nice to have a goal, like wait five months. So I will let you know, the amount that it comes in is for 30 days. And I put it on my neck as well and my hands. They also just came out with a body one. And I found out that they are going to do a I one too. I'm really excited about that one. The reason why I know I keep going on on about this, but it was developed by four, I think it's four or five scientists, lady scientists, and their degrees were in like molecular biology and the studies that they have to prove they have like an actual skin lab. So they're testing actual skin and the results blew me away. It really did. You rarely see studies at this magnitude or at this level. No, I like the results too. That's why I wanted to do them. When I saw the scientific results and that the the skin age was actually reversing. Reversing the age. That's when I was like, okay, this isn't a cover up. This is actually changing your skin. It's changing your skin from a deeper molecular level. So I'm about to get that body cream and slather it all over me. I need the body cream. So, and I'm going to use my code too. (laughs) Listen, half the time we get the codes for y'all so we can use them (laughs) ourselves. Yeah. We're getting the codes for ourselves, and we're just being real nice and sharing them. (laughs) So enjoy, enjoy that. I do encourage you. So that's the answer to all those how to do your serum. So again, just to recap, one, vitamin C, two, retinol, three, hyaluronic acid, four, peptides. I do encourage you to incorporate all of these into your routine for maximum effectiveness, but give yourself some time. So let's give yourself about a month to add all four, maybe six to eight weeks if you want to just take it a little bit slower add one a week just add one a week I like that one every two weeks yeah 
to just take it slow. So that is how I'm going to answer your questions. I really go in depth with them. All right. Our next question is asked and it says, what is the cleanest and most economical way to clean my makeup brushes without ruining the bristles? Okay. I have an answer for you. I like to use Dr. Bronner's unscented castile liquid soap. You can pick it up. I usually pick it up at Whole Foods. It's natural. It's effective. I use more lukewarm water versus hot because you don't want to damage the bristles of your makeup brush. And I have a silicone mat and I gently swipe my sudsy brushes over the mat to loosen the debris. I get my silicone mat. I have it. I got it from Amazon. It's very inexpensive. I love my silicone mat. This is off the topic, but I also double my silicone mat to put my CO patches, which are my wrinkle patches. I like wash and dry them and I put them on the silicone mat. I didn't know you did that. That's so smart. Instead of putting them back in the pouch, it is so hard to put them back in that pouch. But also they need to like air dry before you put them back on there. So get yourself an inexpensive makeup silicone mat. I use it for a lot of stuff. I also use it for to air dry my home microneedle derma roller. I was about to say microneedle. Yeah. I like I do it to air dry that before I put it back in the container that I have. I need to get one. For your makeup brushes, if you want to do a double cleanse, you can do your first cleanse like this. Mix two tablespoons of white vinegar in a cup with warm water and swirl your brushes. Then you can rinse. So that's an option number two. So if you don't have Dr. Bronner's at your house, you can do white vinegar. Third option, most people don't even think about this. You can use your micellar wash. That's an easy, if you have a micellar wash, it can also double to cleanse your brushes. So those are three ways that you are going to cleanse your brushes. I also advise you, please try to cleanse your brushes once a week. And I would be curious to know how long it's been since you last cleansed your brushes. <laughs> You're probably like, oh my gosh, I've never done it. It's been like a year or six months. So remember, we don't want that bacteria swiping on our face. You're just adding it. You're just like, you know, fueling the fire there. So wash those brushes once a week. It really should not take you that long. I do mine so fast. I'm really fast. So do that. The next question is, we get out on say, Clean your brushes. All right. The next question is, what do you use for your neck that is clean to help the skin? I've seen those neck and under eye patches. I'm not sure if they work. Hey, can those patches work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's what I was just talking above. So there's a lot of different patches on the market. I think they're all good. Well, excuse me. I'm not going to say they're all good because I haven't tried them all. So let, let me just say. I just want to say, what I know that you're a fan of um, a certain brand. But my main go-to, I do want to try these other patches. I forgot the name. So I'm definitely open to trying other patches. CO has been my go-to. That's S-I-O. Those are great. I think we have a, do we have a discount? I was about to say, I think we have a discount code in our membership. I yeah, believe. for CO. If not, we'll get one because we use them all the time. They are so good. Yes, I use them. I have the full face one. It is on my, I know we're talking about neck hair, but I'm just gonna let you know. I put those on my forehead, under eyes. You can put them on your marionette lines, which are those lines around your mouth. I put it on my neck. They also have hands patches, knee patches. I mean, anywhere you need. I even put them sometimes on my inner elbow. I need that to... Basically, I just need to repair. I feel like the scarecrow. Like I need to repair the scarecrow and the tin man combined. I'm like repairing everything on my body here. It works. And we have a section called the neck shop <laughs> in our spa shop. And it goes over everything that you need for your neck. I want to encourage you to exfoliate your neck. You could, for a clean, uh, like a cleanser version, you can use a gentle enzyme. That works great. You could even use a manual scrub. I do have a honey exfoliator cleanser that I just, I'm obsessed with. It's just so nice. If you want a stronger exfoliant, you could use a retinol. My number one way of helping with your neck is definitely use an LED light. Put that on your neck. I love the Saluma because it curves to the skin. So you're like getting that neck area and your face at the same time. It's really great. Current Body is another brand. They also have a neck attachment. So you could use that too and have your face and your neck at once. Again, those are in our spa shop as well. So the reason why I keep saying, oh, it's in our spa shop, it's in our spa shop. 
do go wherever you want to buy something. But the reason why it's there is because we have it there. You don't have to like pick through the internet, try to find it, try to search it. Which ones are we talking about? We did the work for you. You just click on it and you got it. So you can research it and learn about it right there. So that's, I just don't want you to feel overwhelmed that you have to go search and not under, oh, is this the right one that she's talking about? I tell you which one. I have the link right there. There's different like with current body, you know, there's different ones for anti-aging and there's different ones for acne. There's just a different light. So I do all that for you. Everyone should, I think, be using the LED. Don't you think, Ashley? You have the limit too. Oh, I, I use mine every day. Every day. And it can be for not just wrinkles, but, you know, pain management too. If you have a flare of acne, do that too. It's amazing with collagen, elasticity, and it's getting deep to your mitochondria. Oh, your skincare is not really going to get to your mind. I mean, it can't go as deep as an LED light. On the nights that you do do your LED light, you're going to skip your retinol because it's light, it'll be more too light sensitive. So just know that. Don't use your retinol the same night as your LED. Another tip that I like to do, home microneedle rolling. I talked about that before. I have a larger tip. Ashley, do you have the larger tip? I do. It's just so much easier. We It is way easier. It's just incredible. And the switching the attachments is so easy too. Oh, five seconds. We use the Beauty Bio. It's just easy for me with that system. I'm on a subscription. It automatically comes to my house. So I don't have to think about when I need to change out the needles. It just automatically is at my door. And for me personally, I highly, highly recommend to get both the face tip and the larger one. It's because I use it on my neck and my chest. I also use it on the back of my legs for cellulite, anywhere in your body, my hands, inner elbows. I mean, while you've got that roller out, just go ahead and roll <laughs> and just roll where you need to go. And that really makes a difference. The next one we've already talked about silicone patches. There is a full podcast done on CO on, I mean, I reached out to, I loved them so much. I reached out to the brand and had them on the podcast. So find the, it's at the beginning of our show actually. So look for the CO podcast. It tells you how to use them. So many great tips on that show. So make sure to listen to the episode called CO. And of course, you're going to hydrate your neck regularly and no brainer here. Use a sunscreen every single day in your skincare routine. Just really have the mindset of this is a part of your skincare routine. This is another ingredient that you need to add. I love a great sunscreen serum. I mean, I just use this. I love using a serum. So it just feels like a, a luxurious step and I don't feel like I'm going to the pool. <laughs> so, you know, that's what, you know what I'm saying? So I just like. I love, and there's some sunscreen serums that are, the formulations are beautiful. I'm really into right now is, are the Kula Sun Silk Drops and their illuminating serum. So a hot tip for you, it makes my skin glow so nicely, that illuminating serum, so the mixture there. So it's a little trick, I'm telling you, if you want that dewy look, oh gosh, that illuminating serum. And then, you know, I mix it with the Silk Drops I'm getting in my sunscreen by Kula. Have you tried that yet? Yes, I love it. Make sure, does it make your skin like that dewy? It's like it's not even a sunscreen. It's like it's a serum. Yeah, it is a serum. Yeah. I don't, they, they really got it down. So I'm going to let Ashley answer this next one because she is the body brush guru. So the next question is, do you dry brush your body? And if so, do you have a dry brush that you like? Okay. So yes, I do dry brush my body. And I do have one that I like because I've had several that have broken on me and it's just, it makes me so mad. And they come in two different types. You've got the handheld one and then you have one with the long handle. I have the one that I love inside our skin store, which you can find at lindsayholder.com. But dry brushing is so fantastic for your body. It's so good for your lymphatic drainage system. So you need your lymphatic drainage system to be manually stimulated. Your body cannot stimulate it on its own. So you do this by exercising, by jumping up and down on a trampoline, which I know we all do every single day, right? Um, or walking or running, you know, whatever. So your body needs movement to stimulate the 
lymphatic drainage system to get out all the yucky stuff, the bacteria, the viruses, you know, toxins, all that good stuff. And so one way that you can help your body doing that is by dry brushing and you don't have to do it very hard. You just do it light and it feels like a nice massage, but you do it before you get out in the shower because you are scrubbing off, slouching off the dead skin cells. And episode 68, I go all into the details of how I do it and how I have a separate one for my face as well as for um, my body. And you can also read in our LaPree Insider, inside our skincare community. I have a whole post about dry brushing and how I do it and all the benefits as well. Gosh, you're so thorough, Ashley. You do such a good job. So you guys are going to get so much information. You're not going to be ever like confused or not know what's it good for. Or how do I use it? Ashley has you covered in the article for LaPree and then the podcast. It really was so good. Kind of wanted to go over, not kind of, did want to go over just some examples of what you're going to find in LaPree Beauty inside our skincare membership. And right now, again, join for free, lindsayholder.com, hit the join button. But it is so fun what we do every week. So here's an example what we have this week. First, we have our skincare secrets video. That's our first component. And the video I put in there this week is how to use my cellar water and the different ways to use them. Because I think you probably just think of one way, but I'm going to show you other ways. So you're going to see me inside there with my, I'm in my bathroom, <laughs> showing you how to use it. The second thing is we want you to have a calm and peaceful journey with us. So each week we bring you a meditation video. It's my voice over this beautiful production that we put on for you. That's like a, um, a video. You can either watch the video or just listen to it. You can play it in your car or you can play it when getting ready or you can um, just look at it while you have your face mask on. We want to be very flexible with you. The title for our meditation video this week is called A Breathing Anchor for Your Wandering Mind. That really hit home to me because my mind goes just, it's just like everywhere. So I love the title of that. And it just tells you how to get back and recenter and refocus. And Skin School actually does that. And you're going to talk about, my gosh, this word I tell you, all about Bakuchil. Bakuchil. So Ashley tells you all about that. And she really had, goes, and, and I love what Ashley does because she gives you like a cliff notes version if you're not a big reader. And she also gives you a more in-depth if you're like, hey, I want to know the science. Like, I really want to go in-depth through that. But then she puts it into a presentation as well if you want to be a visual person with subtitles on that. So Ashley did a really good job about that. Thank you. I used to be a teacher. So I know that there's three different learning styles. You've got the um, where you read it, or if you are, you know, how you listen to it. And then there's also the tactile, which, you know, when you buy the serums or the products, you can feel it and, you know, use it that way. So that's why I do it all those different ways. Yeah, well, it works and it's it just flexible. It's like flexible for everybody. Our membership. So just what we have changed in, in the membership is we brought the meditation videos in. We thought that was kind of missing. And I, we both are just meditation gurus. We listen to at least one a day. And so I thought, why don't we just add this in there? So then you can just have it a part of your routine as well. And then we also changed the skin school to where we did just have one long version, but now we wanted to have the short and the longer one and we had the video. So we changed that one as well. And the skincare secrets video, um, before we just had skincare routines, but I wanted to give you small bite-sized videos as well. So yes, we do have the skincare routines inside La Pre Beauty, but we also have like just what I said to, uh, for this week, how to use my cellar water in the different ways. Like I want to be able to educate you weekly on just everything, skin and beauty. So that's a few things that we have changed or, you know, refined, I should say, and just added to make it just a better community based back on feedback from our members. So we listen to you and we take action and we are so excited to bring you those things. So La Pre Beauty, just to kind of go over quickly what it is. La Pre Beauty, the reason why we call it La Pre Beauty, it means a lasting, present, 
everyday beauty. In French, Le Prix means beauty and strong warrior. We just thought that was just an extra touch. We have actually found that after we made the name. The L-A in front of LaPree stands for two things, Lindsay and Ashley. <laughs> I was like, this just sounds better, just rolls them up the tongue really nicely. We had, that took weeks. I was like, I don't think so. I don't think so. I was like, A sounds better. Yeah, that was some weeks of, no, it's this way. No, it's this way. That was funny. But we started this business at a... Chinese restaurant in the winter and wrote down just like scraps of ideas on a napkin. I'll never forget that. Do you remember that with our hot tea? Yeah. And then took it from there and wow, has it blossoms. We love what we do. So if you sign up, we'd love to have you inside there. We have a video on how to sign up at lindsayholder.com. Just hit the join page. It's very easy. You just literally put your name and your email and password and you're in. And we also have a preview to see what's inside the membership. So if you are a visual person, just watch that video at lindsayholder.com and we show you inside the membership so you can physically see it. Well, Ashley, I will be over at your house in a few hours, and then we are going to soon record, probably tomorrow, our Christmas gift guide, and that will be coming at you on the next episode. So yay, yay, cannot wait. So thanks for joining, guys, and until next time. 